Alright, hello and welcome to your, um, what is this, 17th C-Sharp tutorial, and this one's going to be about constructors. So in C-Sharp, whenever a class is created or constructed, which is called instantiation, if you're instantiation, whatever, if you're into terms, there is a default method, which is called a constructor, you know, if you're into terms, that is called. So for example, if I have this class book, because, you know, those are always so exciting, um, and books have names and authors usually, right? So, if I want to create a constructor, the name of it is the same as the name of the class. So, for example, book, book. Um, and it doesn't have a return type, because all it does is it, like, initializes the class. So, if I put this here, let's just write console.writeline, hello world. Generally speaking, you wouldn't really ever do this, um, where that that is where you have a um, like you where you like print stuff out there. You usually just set things up in constructors. You usually don't print things out, but like like you can. So book test equals new book, and now when I run this, it says hello world because it called this method when I got created the new book. Usually, however, what you want to do is if you say for example have some parameters in here like you would for any other method like string name string author you would do name equals name, author equals author, except you're probably wondering, well, how does it know which one you want? And the thing is, it doesn't know which one you want, um, but there's another keyword for that which will be in the next tutorial. However, for this time, we're just going to change the name to, like, person name, or, wait, not person name, book name, and author um, of, of, of book. You can do this because this also works, but there is the other way that I'll tell you about later. I mean, constructors are pretty simple, so let's do this. And now it says there's an error, because it does not have a constructor that takes zero arguments, because you see now it takes two. We need a name and an author. So let's say the name is uh, Midnight's Children, and author is... All right. So, now, if we just, I mean, this is, you, you, you would expect this, right, if we were to try and print it out, well, it's private, but if we were to make methods to get them and then try and print it out, it would work. I ran it, nothing happens because we just set it up. But things will happen um, later. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.